today guys like first we will see how to upgrade the switch using new method which is install mode and then after that we will cover the strong control command so these days guys like we basically uh, upgrade the switches through the install mode earlier guys like you see all the switches basically we upgrade through the binary file which is also known as bundle mode so I, I will basically tell you what are the main advantages of using install method over the bundle board. Okay. So right now, guys, like even if you see my current switch, my current switch is basically uh, using like install mode, and this is the version we are running right now. So you can also check like show run, uh, uh, show run or show boot. So this is the command you can see like right now. Basically, you have configured the booting method, which is package.config. Okay. So that means guys, like you are using install mode. And earlier, guys, like, like let me show you the way we can set this. Okay, like boot system flash. So if we're using the binary file, that means you are using bundle mode. And if you have a setting this, okay, package.config, that means you are using install mode. So here guys, like currently like we are running this this version, and you can simply check like show flash. So like currently like this is the old binary file, okay. And if you go to Google, and simply you will see. Let's say I'm now I'm planning to upgrade this switch. Okay. So uh, based on this version, okay, if you go to Cisco website and Cisco website will this they will suggest to you okay like you can like if you are running this version and you can like use this asterisk so these are basically Cisco suggestion version and they already tested like this version don't have any bug okay so simply guy like you you will download this binary file and definitely you 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 need a Cisco account okay to download this file and I I already downloaded download this file okay, so this file basically on my desktop and the, the first thing i like first you will copy this image okay you will copy this image either using tftp ftp or http server to the switch okay hey okay, guys like I, I have a tftp server so normally guys like in the real world i use ftp server or http server because those, those are very fast however the tftp guys that is very slow okay so that's why guys like in the real world i mainly prefer to use ftp or http instead of tftp okay. so first guy like we will see copy so the copy command the how it work okay so copy the first always will be your source okay so in that case my source is like tftp and my destination is flash because on the flash we want to move the new file okay. then i press enter so it will ask you what is my tftp server ip address okay. so in that case my ip address is 192.168.137.100 so 192.168.137.100 and press enter and what is my file name so the file name like uh, is on my desktop okay so this is the file name let me copy the file name okay like rename so copy this file name and paste it and you see as we have a reachability so file is currently copying okay and as i told you guys this might be take more time because tftp is very slow so that's the main reason okay in the real world if you like uh, uploading or downloading the larger file size we use ftp so now guys like we need to wait okay we need to wait until like this file is not copied and once the file is copied so we will use this command okay? so in uh, basically guys as we are using this method more system flash package dot config that means we are using install mode so in that case, I will show you like there is an install command. So we will use the install command and through this, like we will upgrade the switch. The benefit of this, okay, like right now, guys, I have a single switch, okay. 
I have a single switch, but in the real world, let's say if you are upgrading the switch stack, okay, like we have a four switches in a stack. So logically, guys, this is a single switch. Once you copy the maze to the primary switch and then use the install command. So this image automatically copy to the other flash also. So right now, guys, like you see, I, I got some error because my flash, it, it, uh, my flash don't have like enough space to carry the new file. Okay. So in that case, guys, like I need to remove the old file. Okay? So this is the first, like, I believe the first requirement. Okay. Make sure your flash has enough space to to carry the new file so in that case guys like i'm going to remove the like let's say this is my old file i'm going to remove this file okay so delete flash and enter so i remove this file and and if i check again show flash so this is the size we have available and the new image file size if we check which is i think yeah now we have a lot of space okay so now again guys i will copy the file okay and again once this file copied okay we will use the install command it's very single command okay i will show you and after that your switch will upgrade okay with this new version which is 16.12 okay. earlier is 16.9 something and as per Cisco website suggestion, okay, we are going to this this version. So this is how you upgrade the switches in the real world. So you don't need to raise any tag case. Just check your existing version, go to Cisco website, and just see like which is the suggestion version, and just then just download that suggestion version, okay, and copy that file to your switch. Or the same way, guys, like we will upgrade the router. So the only difference, guys, like um, uh, we use the installed method instead of the bundle method. Okay, so bundle, if you're using this this method, like the uh, booting the switch through the binary file, that means you are using bundle method. Other thing, guys, like you see, uh, this installed method, okay, as basically we break this bin file to the smaller package. So it will basically take less memory. So this is the second advantage of uh, installed method. Okay. Plus guys, like uh, uh, on the switches. Okay. If this switch is in a stack, let's say you have a primary switch. The primary switch has like the latest version. Okay. Let's say 16.12 and you just like recently add some switches. Uh, a new switches okay in, in that st same stack okay and let's say if this is running 16 point old version okay 16.9 so if the on the primary switch if this command is configured software auto upgrade enable it will automatically upgrade your other switches as well so this is the another advantage of using install mode so let's say you have a current switch stack four member and you want to add more member in your current switch stack and as we have a this command on which is by default is disabled guys so if you configure this command it will automatically upgrade your existing new member okay so that's why right, like these days okay everybody using install method okay no one even like when you buying the cisco 9300 they come with the default uh, image okay and that default image basically uh, booting through uh, package dot config okay via this method okay. so all the 9300 series okay 9300 9200 they all basically uh, booting from the package dot config okay. so guys this will okay so file is copied now so now basically we'll say installed add file flash so this is a command guys. so this is a new file and we are gonna activate and commit so this is a single command once you co copy the file 
you will run this command base installed add file and then the file new file name activate and commit and once i press enter the switch will reboot and it will come up with this new version okay, which is 16.12 so let's say if i press enter okay so it is basically asking do you want to save the configuration yes and you will see right now guy like this is a single switch okay this is a single switch this is not configured in a stack so it won't take much time so you see like this is basically happening right now basically if you have a let's say switch stack which has a four member it will automatically basically open the file to all the member okay in a bundle pod we need to this do this manually so you see like a let's say if you have four member in a switch stack so we will first copy the file to the primary boot flash yeah then we basically use the copy boot flash one to boot flash two then same copy boot flash one to boot flash three this is how we do uh, like a layer okay in bundle mode when we have a like say go these days guys like uh like we inst configure the switches in a stack so that's why uh the install method is really uh, useful okay because it do automatically so there's a single command we need to configure this okay this activity and command so yeah it, it it takes some time guys and obviously if you have a let's say multiple member it will take more time okay so right now i don't have i have a single switch okay so it take time so right now so this is single switch okay so the it, it basically adding the package and then activate the package and after that commit the package okay so in middle they will ask you guys like do you want to obviously we, we, we will ask you to reboot the switch and we should say yes and once switch reboot okay it will come with the yeah so this is the thing okay so so these these are the new package and here guy like do you want to proceed and we need to say yes and once say yes the switch will reboot okay so you can check like in the real world guys like let's say if we use upgrading the switch remotely because even right now i have access this switch okay through tenlet so you can see let's say ping 182 168 137.10 this is my switch ip right now it is responding but you see like when the switch reboot we will see the packet drop okay? packet loss okay so so right now guys switch is basically upgrading uh, it takes some time okay meanwhile any question any question so far uh, sir, downtime okay. Obviously, yes. So this activity requires the downtime, right? So uh, how about the MD5? You can't able to verify that directly uh, added. Uh, uh, yeah, you can in the real world, yeah, you can also verify the MD5, but there is a quick way, okay? Like let's say if you see on a Google website. If you see the size of this file, okay, like this is a file of the size. So when you copy the file to the flash, okay, 
you can verify you can also check the verify the size and if you seeing the same exact size that means file is copied properly so you can verify like right now uh, like this image with the new image okay which we copy to the switch it has this this file size and if you compare on the cisco website if on cisco website we are also seeing the same size okay that means file is copied properly okay this is that is this is the one way the second way you can also verify calculate the md5 and then verify with the cisco website okay if the md5 uh, value is same that means file is copied properly okay two way okay yeah in the real world better to also calculate the md5 or just seeing the file size okay and checking it like both sides the same size that means everything is okay So, still we are seeing switches responding. So, take time, guys. So, it will take maybe 10 to 15 minutes. And when, let's say, if you are upgrading the switches uh, in a stack and it has more member, then it might take 20 to 25 minutes, okay, or maximum 30 minutes. And this command is by default disabled, remember, okay, software are operating in Here, like I've seen, like, uh, they will ask you in Canada, okay, so very simple question, okay. Let's say if you mention, like, you working on switches and router, switches, like, mainly, like, this upgrade, uh, normally we do, like, uh, to remove the vulnerabilities, like, we go, uh, not only on a router like let's say if you have wireless controller you have a cisco router switches we like a uh, generally like upgrade of uh, uh, every three or four months okay this activity or maybe let's say if you're doing the you are installing the new switches the new switches maybe come with different version and i remember like some of the issue i faced like uh, on the 9300x switches so the 9300x today, like when we install the switches in, in our network, the uplink, even though we have installed the QSAP, which basically support 100 GB, but the Cisco switch iOS, okay, it was like we were running 17.11.1 version. With this version, this uplink speed uplink port okay only support the speed is 40 gbps even though our qsfe has rule rate okay which is a 40 and 100 so cisco said okay so right now there is a limitation with this os i operating system image once your switch is installed to this version so recently they basically introduced this version okay 17 13 from this version your uplink Uplink speed uh, board, okay, support uh, 100 GBPS. So there are like some requirement or maybe like the bug you are hitting on those old cases also, you need to basically upgrade the switches. So my, this server is, you see like accessible through the switch. That's why I lost the connectivity. So that means in the real world, okay, if you want to do this activity, you need a downtime. Mm -hmm. So right now, guys, like my server inaccessible because my switch is rebooted. Okay. So even on my this PC, 
I will. It has also the same segment IP. So I will continuously doing the ping to the switcher. So right now my switch is rebooting. I can also show you this behind the scene. Okay, what's going on? But normally, as I told you, in the real world, we update the switches remotely. Okay, and let's say you are sitting in India and you are upgrading the switches in US or in Canada. So definitely for the safer side, okay, you will also uh, plan a field engineer at the same time when you upgrading the switches. Why? Sometimes like, like when you reboot the switches, okay, switches may not come up with the new version. On those cases, guy, like you might need to do the hard reboot. This is the first thing like we do, okay? And obviously, for doing the hard reboot, there there is someone like available in the data center who can unplug the power supply cable and then pl plug it back. Second scenario might be let's say when you reboot the switches, your switch maybe won't come up with the new iOS and in in those scenario you may need uh, the console of the switch so there someone should like available in the data center who can provide you the console of the switch so for the safer side like in the real world when you deploy installing the switches okay you always like also uh plan to uh, visit the any field engineer okay in the data center yeah. I just see for side. Okay. Now my switch is responding. So that means let me access my server. So my server is also responding. So I can access my server and from the server I can access my switch. Okay, so let me restart. So this is my password. And you see, oh, this incorrect. Uh, duplicate session. Cisco. Yeah. And if you see now show version, so now switch is basically come up with the new version, okay, which is 16.12. And again, the mode we are using installed mode. Okay. So this is how I like we will upgrade the Cisco switch. Okay. Using install mode. So let me again tell you the command which is like the command which we use is store you, you can use the question mark like add file then where is the file okay flash so here then like basically you can see this is the binary file okay so you can use the binary file and after that activate and commit okay so th this is the command we use to upgrade the switches in install mode just a single command 
and make sure you also verify show boot your boot method should be package door config okay not a bin file so earlier like i show you like uh, when we upgrading the switches okay so we so we set the boot system method okay which is like boot system flash so then here we will basically define the binary method binary file so if i show you like show flash include dot bin so sometimes guys like i believe uh switches flash if they don't have a space they only show you the package and remove the binary file okay i think this is my switch did okay so i don't have any binary file because i have only the package file so you, you you can also remove the old package so if you want to remove the old package okay there is a command so you can say like uh, install remove inactive so what this command do so this command basically remove the old package okay which is unused and keep the the package which is currently being used okay so if i say let's say uh, installed remove inactive and press enter so it will show you hey i'm going to remove these packages and these other packages like 16.12 i'm not going to uh, remove it because they are currently are being used okay so definitely guys uh, make sure your flash has more free space okay so it's showing, it's it's saying like uh, these packages are in use so will not delete however there's like older file okay like the old package i'm going to remove it okay so in that case you you will say yes okay okay so guys that is it regarding the today class any question up to this point so strong control guy like we will do later guys in, in the next class okay so next class might be my last class uh in a switching okay and then after that we will start routing so yeah now switch is basically remove your old package okay okay guys if you don't have any question then we'll see you in the next class okay no question